From a meaningless Bollywood cameo in Kambakht Ishq to that awful helicopter shootout in Cliffhanger, Sylvester Stallone has had some pretty bad fight scenes over his career. And these are the worst ones yet, starting with his cameo in a Bollywood movie. I bet you haven't seen Sylvester Stallone's cameo in the Bollywood rom-com Kambakht Ishq. Yeah, it left the audience stunned. Although some people thought seeing Stallone parody his action image was hilarious, others found the cameo a bit too random. Let me break it down for you. The film's main character, played by Kareena Kapoor, gets into trouble with some goons who stop her car. She ends up running away. It's a classic damsel in distress situation. And then, out of nowhere, appears Stallone. He greets the goons with a casual, what's up guys, all's good in the hood? What's up guys? All's good in the hood? You in the wrong neighborhood. And then, of course, he proceeds to beat them up in an overdramatic fight scene. The cameo ends with Stallone effortlessly punching and crushing the bad guys, and tops it off by even pushing a car against them. At one point, he even pulls a parking meter out of the ground and bashes a few heads in. But honestly, it's not just Stallone. This scene is just so bad, from the dialogue delivery to the bad cinematography. But the audience lapped it up. It just brought Stallone so much closer to them especially when he spoke a little bit of Hindi, too. He's actually hugely popular in India. The movie also had cameos from other Hollywood celebrities, including Denise Richards, Brandon Ruth, and Holly Valance. So random. I get how Stallone's brand of action would actually work in Bollywood, but perhaps we just weren't ready for it in 2009. Another stinker of a fight scene came much, much earlier. The movie Stop or My Mom Will Shoot bombed at the box office. Stallone plays the role of a tough cop. Sergeant Joseph Andrew Joe Bomowski. But his life kinda changes when his mother comes to stay with him and starts interfering with his police work. Long story short, we get to the worst fight sequence of Stallone's career. Well, mostly because it was just so meh. There wasn't much to it, except for Estelle Getty's really annoying portrayal of Stallone's mom. In one of the movie's final scenes, he gets ambushed and can't fight back. It's a tense moment until the mom character unexpectedly reveals a gun from her purse and shoots the attackers, saying nobody hurts my baby. The thing is, the movie is actually called Stop or My Mom Will Shoot, so viewers probably saw this coming, but it doesn't make it any less cringe, which was the whole movie, not just this scene. In fact, there's a fun story about why Stallone even signed up for this. Apparently, it was only because Arnold Schwarzenegger was considering the role. In 2017, the former governor of California confirmed the rumor. It seems that he floated the rumor that he was considering the role only to get Stallone interested and eventually take up the terrible script. And it worked like clockwork. Or maybe Stallone thought this would be his kindergarten cop. But if this scene was bad for not having enough action, the next one had too much of it. It's the ending scene of Cliffhanger. At the end of the movie, Stallone's character, Gabe Walker, faces off against John Lithgow's Eric Quaylen. They're on the wreckage of a helicopter hanging by a ladder on a cliff, which should already tell you just how many times this could go wrong. That said, it's still an epic setting for the final fight, but it also has some unintentionally funny moments. Although I feel that may be because the bad guy's Lithgow, and it's just difficult to see him physically challenging the mighty Stallone in any way. But he does have a whole helicopter on his side. There are a few moments where Stallone is literally being chased by a helicopter, but the helicopter is still kind of tethered to something, so it's a bit of a tug and pull kind of situation. In other words, it's all all a bit confusing. Finally, the copter falls and gets stuck on the edge of the cliff, and it's just hanging there until Stallone also falls and hangs on the copter. So, lots of hanging from cliffs are involved. Stallone is still his classic action hero self, grunting and throwing punches, while Lithgow's character screams and slips around over dramatically. Lithgow does manage to put Stallone in a chokehold a few times. He's not exactly the most intimidating opponent. In the end, the cable holding up the wreckage snaps and Quaylen and the helicopter plummet to the ground. But it's not half as disappointing as what happens in Grudge Match. Now this one had the potential to be really great, but instead, what we got was a really long, drawn-out fight between two old guys, literally and figuratively. In the movie, Stallone and Robert De Niro play former champion boxers, who are way past their glory days. But someone thinks it would be a good idea to pull them out of retirement.
environment and into the ring. Not a bad premise. After all, both Stallone and De Niro have done really great in the boxing action movie genre, and they're generally pretty bankable. With those names on the poster, you know people will turn up at the cinemas. But the movie, not just the fight scene, was underwhelming, because you kind of wanted more from these two superstars. And as you keep going, you just end up getting more and more disappointed. It all comes down to the final fight, which is just boring to be honest. It's literally just the two of them going at each other with really predictable moves, especially if you're a Rocky fan. There's a touching moment where Robert De Niro's character, Billy the Kid, accidentally hits Sylvester Stallone's character, Razor Sharp's blind eye. Billy then does something unexpected. He helps Razor up instead of taking advantage of the situation. But then, Razor later makes a comeback and almost knocks Billy out, ultimately winning the fight. So while the movie builds up a lot of excitement, the final fight ends with a bit of a downer. But it still ranks better than the next one. The block fight from Judge Dredd has got to be one of the worst fight scenes ever. It needs to be on every worst fight scenes ever list, not just Stallone's. Now, in the movie, there's a scene where two rookie judges are waiting for backup, and just then, a violent street fight breaks out in Mega City. But then, the iconic character Judge Dredd, played by Stallone, arrives on the scene. And he's not messing around. He strikes a heroic pose with his hands on his waist and boldly declares, I am the law. From there, he goes on a rampage, taking down the bad guys in this very over-the-top video game-like fashion. The criminals in the movie are portrayed as underarmed and weak, making poor decisions. So it's no surprise that they're no match for the seemingly invincible dread, and the acting is just so bad. While the movie does have some fans, overall it's one of Stallone's lowest rated films. And while the Rambo series was a popular one, the fact that Stallone defeated a whole army in his own Rambo 3 is all kinds of ridiculous. Now when it comes to defying the odds, Rambo is no stranger, but in one particular scene, Rambo has to save his friend, Colonel Troutman, who the Russians have captured in Afghanistan. With an entire army against him, Rambo fearlessly takes on tanks, helicopters, and dozens of Russian soldiers, even throwing a grenade into a troop transport. But of course, it all starts with a classic one-liner. As Rambo and the Colonel face a wall of Russian troops, the Colonel asks for Rambo's opinion on their situation. Rambo coolly replies that surrounding them is out of the question. It's the perfect mix of wit and muscle that we've come to love from Stallone's iconic character. But really, in all honesty, I cannot bring myself to believe that any action hero would be able to take on the Russian army on his own. Fair to say that it takes a considerable amount of suspension of disbelief. And those were the worst fight scenes of Sylvester Stallone's career.